Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pattern Drafting with Molin Signature. On today's tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to draft this bishop's sleeves. If this sounds like what you're interested in, you may definitely want to stick around and watch till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and tap on the notification bell to get more videos like this. I drafted the basic sleeve which I have uploaded one time in my channel. So after drafting the basic sleeve, I went ahead to measure 0.75 inches in between for the lines at this point. So I'll be using that to extend into a straight line just to make a slash and spread method for drafting this pattern. Now that I am done, I'm going to be using my scissors to cut from this part all the way to the top, leaving just a little space to hold the papers at the tip together. When cutting through the lens, remember not to cut it entirely, leave a little space to hold the papers together. For this method, I chose to use my paper on fold because my pattern is actually the same thing when you use a full pattern paper for that. But my paper is on fold, the same way your fabric is on fold when you are drafting directly on your sleeve. So my paper is on fold, that is why I'm cutting on a half pattern paper. After I am done slashing through the lines, I went ahead to place my fabric on fold and from there I'm just going to be placing my pattern paper like this with the folded part facing towards the folded area of the fabric. After I am done aligning the pattern with my fabric, I went ahead to secure it in place with my pins for the meantime before cutting it out. The next thing I did was to spread it out nicely and I'll be using my tape rule to measure 3.5 inches in between the gap that you see. So each and every gap will have about 3.5 inches. If you really want more volume to your sleeves, go ahead and make it 4.5 or even 5 inches to 6 inches or if you want the volume lesser, you can measure 1 inch or 2 inch but I am taking 3.5 inches for my choice. You can also go ahead and use your pins to secure it in place while adjusting the lines. After that, the next thing I did was to draw a line as you see me doing. I'm just going to draw a line to make it rounded and follow the pattern the way I placed it on my fabric. And also I'm just going to be tracing the rest of the line, giving one inch sewing allowance i really don't need the sewing allowance but i'm just going to add it for the purpose of it and next thing i did was cut out with my scissors And after that, I just removed my pattern paper and I set it aside. Now this is what I have. I have a full pattern for my sleeve. And now the next thing I did was to duplicate this pattern on another fresh fabric for the second sleeve. And this is what I have. Next is to cut out the curves on fold and I'm going to be cutting out two for that. I went ahead to cut out a band of about 5 inches on fold and I cut about 8.5 inches for the length at this side i had to slant it a little bit just to fit that area around my arm opening up the cuff on fold you can see that i have notched the area which i have folded earlier so for me to attach my upper sleeve to it i had to place it like so like you see me doing now go ahead and pleat my sleeve like this as you see me doing and i'll be using my pins to hold it temporary while i pleat it along the edges of the cuff so i'm placing this right side to right side 
facing each other like you see me doing. Just go ahead and take your time to pin it. If you want, you can sew it directly on your machine while you are still pleating it along the line. But I chose to pin it before stitching it. So now we have our sleeve. This is how it's looking like. It's well stitched and it has been pleated nicely. So next thing I'm doing, I just roll it like so and I'll bring back the other end of the cuff to enclose it like this and go ahead and stitch it along the line and turn it inside out. So this is how my sleeve came out looking like. This is the finished part. I have already gone ahead and I turned out the cuff inside out. Now I'm simply going to be aligning it like this and I'll go ahead and secure it with my pin. The next thing I'm going to do is to attach it to my desired top which I am currently stitching. And to do that, I'll just go ahead and measure what I have around the armhole and I'll be placing my tape like this to cross check properly. So I have around 8 inches 0.5 there. So I'm going to be measuring that to see what I have around my sleeve and I'll be pinning that down. So this is my 8.5. I'm going to pin that down to get the same length as I have for my sleeve. So I'm going to attach that and this is what I have. The next thing I did was to go ahead and place my sleeve right side to right side around the armhole curve. And I'm going to secure it with a pin in place in such a way that it will enable me to turn my sleeve inwards. And I'll go ahead and stitch it all the way around. And now this is our finished work. This is how the sleeves is looking like on the dress. So you can see how neatly it looks like. So guys, if you like this video, kindly give me a thumbs up and tell me what you think about it in the description box. Also, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bell for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video.